How can I tell the difference between amniotic fluid and urine leakage? Hello and welcome to this informational video about a common question that many expectant mothers have during pregnancy. How can I tell the difference between amniotic fluid and urine leakage? Pregnancy comes with a myriad of changes, and it's important to understand what your body is going through. Today, we'll delve into the differences between amniotic fluid and urine leakage. What is amniotic fluid? Amniotic fluid is a clear or slightly yellowish liquid that surrounds and protects your baby in the womb. It plays a crucial role in your baby's development. When this fluid leaks, it could be a sign of your water breaking, which typically signifies the onset of labor. In some cases, amniotic fluid might leak slowly, causing confusion with urine leakage. What is urine leakage? During pregnancy, many women experience urinary incontinence or urine leakage. This is often due to the increasing pressure on your bladder from your growing baby. This urine leakage is typically not a cause for concern, but it can sometimes be confused with amniotic fluid. Distinguishing between amniotic fluid and urine leakage. Here are some key differences between amniotic fluid and urine leakage. 1. Color and smell. Urine tends to be yellow and has a distinct smell, while amniotic fluid is usually clear or slightly yellow and has a mild, sweet smell, or no smell at all. 2. Consistency and volume. Amniotic fluid is typically thinner than urine. Also, the volume of leakage from amniotic fluid might be greater than urine. 3. Continued leakage. If you're leaking amniotic fluid, it will likely continue to leak and might even increase in volume over time while urine leakage usually happens in spurts, especially when you sneeze, cough, or change positions. When to seek medical help? It's crucial to seek immediate medical help if you're unsure whether the fluid you're leaking is amniotic fluid or urine, especially if it's accompanied by other symptoms of labor, such as regular contractions, a change in vaginal discharge, or pelvic pressure. Even if it's a false alarm, it's always better to err on the side of caution when it comes to the health of you and your baby. Thank you for watching this video, we hope it has been informative and has helped you understand the differences between amniotic fluid and urine leakage during pregnancy. Remember, if you're ever in doubt about your health or the health of your baby, always consult a healthcare professional. Stay safe and take care.